I've already shuffled, and we'll be taking a look at the present time, how your person sees you, how you see them, then we'll talk about why it's happening. Just remember, the roles can be switched. They see you can be you see them. So the roles can be reversed. So, Scorpio, what I'm picking up for the overall energy for this reading is that there is a situation that's making you feel like you want to just close off and become guarded. Yeah, something's going on that's giving you some anxiety here. And you kind of just want to back off or have someone back off. So let's get into it and see what's going on. Now for the present time, we've got this Nine of Wands. And it's with the Page of Swords. And Nine of Wands, it can indicate worry, being burdened and keyed up over concerns. Um, the first and the best step is usually to take a deep breath, calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do that. Because at least some of the worries, they'll likely turn out to be imaginary. So try to get specific on what you're afraid of and try to pick it apart. <laughs> try to pick it apart and ask yourself, what is the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? So you might want to comfort yourself. And if you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it. Asking for help is really the mark of a strong person. Now this Nine of Wands is paired with the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords can some, sometimes stand for an actual person in your life. Now, if this is the case, it will represent a person who's probably younger than you are. And the pages, they also indicate that a message is coming in. Someone wants to reach out. Somebody wants to talk. They got something to say. Now, in this instance, because it's a page and it's a sword, it may not be what you're hoping to hear. So, basically, now give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. I have some it interruptions here. I try to stay focused. So, when you hear the word page in the tarot, that's a student, a student, someone younger than you, immaturity, um, youth. That's what the word page stands for. So sometimes somebody wants to reach out. It's not what you're looking for. It's not what you're hoping for. Um, it's showing that someone may be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or it can feel like they're stepping on your toes. So you may need to study the body language and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism. Yeah, so... Page of Swords is with the Nine of Wands for the present time. So basically, with these two cards paired together, uh, like I said, you're going to feel like uh, maybe anxious or have some anxiety about something. A person, a situation, something's happening here. And it could have something to do with... Um, Someone immature, someone being really immature here with this Page of Swords. And it brings about conflict. So, let's move on over for now. We'll clarify these two cards a little better towards the end of the reading. We'll move on over and take a look at how your person is seeing you for now. So, they see you like the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Nine of Swords, uh, it's about needing to guard against feelings of anxiety. And if you're feeling anxious, take a look at whether or not any of that is under your own control or power and try to lessen it. 
or if things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety, if this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable. There's something about this time period that can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger than it is or just different. So it's about trying to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things and just know that's where the beauty is. So this is one of the ways the person you're dealing with, they see you yeah, experiencing some hardship about this connection. Something is troubling you about them. Yeah. They're just feeling, they, they think you're feeling that something is just not quite right. Yeah, and that you could be having some sleepless nights with worry, grief, and anxiety. Now they also see you like the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles it indicates that uh, you could be spending time at home or spending time, money, and energy on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. This is a good thing provided you don't take on too much debt. People could be looking to you for insight and or advice, advice or insight, and you'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is a time period when you can get a whole lot accomplished. So this is also how they see you. They see you just wanting comfort. You don't want to be all stressed out like this. You just want peace. You want, you want things to be sensible. Yeah. You're wanting comfort, but they see that you're not getting it right now. You're faced with feelings of anxiety and thinking something is just not quite right. You don't know what to make out of this connection or this situation. And it's really got you messed up in the head. That's how they see you. And they see that you just, overall, you just want comfort. You want to come out of this. Feelings of anxiousness. Now, you see them like the Eight of Cups. And you also see them like the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so this Eight of Cups, it's an interesting card in the tarot. It means that you choose to leave a situation that's no longer working for you, whether it's a relationship, job, a neighborhood, there could be some sadness involved, but the separation is in your best interest. Just know that renewed good times, they lie ahead. If your gut is telling you that you really need to get out of a relationship, job, living arrangement, trust yourself. Instead of this information coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, it usually means that you're the one who will make the choice. Often, very often, one door has to close behind you before the next door in front of you can fully open. So you see them as thinking that uh, they might just walk away. They might withdraw from this connection. That's how you see them. Now, it's with the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, it's about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is not your friend. So you may, may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. Your financial situation may need to be more balanced, so be sure you're paying attention there. So you see them like this to a pinnacles also, that they may come across as maybe busy all the time, having trouble finding time and energy for you. Yeah. This person, you could see them as juggling, juggling a two-timer, 
they go back and forth they're here and there so they just they they can't make enough time for this connection that's how you see them and for some reason it's why is it with the eight of why are they walking away um, when you see them as possibly choosing to move on and they could be a two-timer so yeah let's take a look at why it's happening so why it's happening is due to the king of cups and the ten of cups the king of cups it speaks about a very balanced male and feminine energy he holds all the positive qualities of both masculine and feminine often he indicates an actual man in your life usually representing if it represents a live person it's referring to a very kind very kind and loving man who usually or generally have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum but it could go either way just know you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen when you get this card in the reading uh, this king of cups it represents kindness and compassion there's an element of pure and true love in your life no matter what your situation is when this card appears so nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you Yeah, so it looks like one of the reasons why it's happening is because of this King of Cups. So somebody, someone wanted to offer a cup of love here. Yeah, King of Cups is very warm, friendly, tolerant, very loving, very loving type. yeah now it's with this ten of cups which is a beautiful card in the tarot ten of cups is another one of the most uplifting cards that you can get in the tarot it points to happiness perhaps in a more mature grown-up global kind of way um yeah it's a really good card to get in the in a reading the ten of cups it speaks of a happy family life even if you're single to the general or overall well-being that goes beyond you to include those that you're most concerned about your parents siblings children your pets and much more also being spiritually fulfilled is a part of this picture so this is a beautiful card to receive in a reading. Um, so the other reason why it's happening because of the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is a dream come true. Yeah, it's a dream come true here. So let's recap this reading because it's kind of all over the place. I know it. I know. We'll pull it together here and so we can make sense out of it. So... Scorpio, for the present time, it looks like you could be um, experiencing some anxiety about this person or it could be a situation, but I'm picking up it's a person that you're dealing with. Cause, and um, the anxiety looks like it's kind of heavy here because you got it in here twice. For You got it in here for the, the Nine of Wands for the present time. And how they see you so yeah you're having some um, big-time worries being stressed out uh, it feels like hardship it feels like hardship about this connection um, but you just want comfort you want peace and comfort you don't want to be going through all this you really don't now it looks like you might have tried to you might have thought that this person was 
your indah biya. You might have thought that they were your ten of cups. And you probably realize that they're not ready. Because there's a page of swords here. So you realize that um, they're kind of immature. They do things that don't make sense. And on top of that, they juggle. They go back and forth with this two of pentacles, probably to you and then someone else. So they have a hard time finding time for this connection because they they're probably a two timer. That's what the two of pentacles is about. And it looks like they could be deciding to walk away because it looks like maybe with the King of Cups here, um, you wanted to offer a cup of love to this person, but maybe you're realizing that you're, this is not your Ten of Cups. Yeah, I'm picking up, this is, yeah, that's what I'm picking up. This is not your Ten of Cups. You realized it. You thought you wanted to offer that cup of love as the King of Cups, but you realize your Ten of Cups is somewhere else. It's not with this person. So now you just look for comfort and peace. And you probably spend a lot of time at home. And you're, you're in a rush to get this anxiety out, out of your head and have it be done with. And you, you're working on getting your Ten of Cups with someone else because this person is really immature. He goes back and forth. He's probably got someone else. And it looks like he he could be walking away too. So, yeah. So you just give your, your cup to someone else. You give that cup of love to someone else because it looks like you got a, a happy situation somewhere else. It's coming in, but I don't see it with this person. Yeah, so right now you just want peace and comfort. Yeah, you don't want to be going through all this stress and anxiety and hardship. It's not good for you. It's not good for your health. So, Scorpio... I hope this resonates. Well, actually, I hope it don't. It wasn't a really good. It wasn't a good reading. Sorry about the interruptions, but I hope you enjoyed the reading. As you know, general readings they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way, you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Scorpio, thank you so very much for watching. Please come back and join me for the next Scorpio reading, which will be in about another four or five days. If this did not resonate, then maybe the next reading will, will resonate. Uh, once again, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that June is a beautiful month for you, and I hope you have a great day. So, hope to see you at the next reading.